think about all this stuff with the coaches going back 10, 12 years. Well, God, I, 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 I don't get it, and I don't get, I, I, like, I don't get, um, I, don't, I don't understand any, I, I understand when something is in somebody's history, it's in your contract if you don't disclose it, right? In the morality clause or whatever fucking clause you have in it, right? But they uh, have morality clauses now, Billy, in the no, contracts. Do you know? No, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. It's not. It, it doesn't say the, morality, but there's a clause in, in every contract that says if you um, hurt the name or the reputation or whatever the fuck it is. Oh yeah, if you if you damage. On. So that's that's. Yeah, okay. I, I use the word moral the morality clause, oh, but oh. to be under another fucking uh, uh, another uh, uh, visual and, and another uh, appendix in the contract. Yeah, you can break the contract if you do something that is detrimental to the team. Yeah, yeah. So if, him using, uh, you know, the allegation was that he used the N word, right? Or you come to you come to practice drunk, or you come to come a game to practice drunk, or or, or and, and you're abusive. Uh, you know, I I heard that after he resigned, uh, that they went to John Tortorella and said, "Is there anything you want to tell us?" What? And they went. To, they went to a bunch of coaches and said, "Is there anything you want to tell us?" You're kidding. Who did the league? Yeah, uh, I heard it was either the league or the NHL. Well, huh. what yeah. is this? And, and you know, Crawford, socialism, Crawford, communism. Crawford, Here we Crawford, Crawford's in that bunch. I wish I had a quarter for every time I was called a whop, a spaghetti bender, a guinea, a, a yeah. mafia, whatever. I would have never. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, 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 but uh, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, seven years ago, I was playing in a men's league, seven or eight years ago, in one of the rinks in Toronto. One of the coaches, one of the refs called one of the players a greaseball wop, go back to Woodbridge. And uh, they, they came, the leagues came right away, the, the owners were, or the, the convener, and they took him off the ice and they fired his ass. And uh, uh, I don't agree with it. I don't. It was, the one thing I you don't agree with is you, can, you can't take that. You got a problem. Yeah. If 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 you notice, uh, the, you know, maybe uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago, when people were making racial slurs, and you know, Don Rickles made his living at it, right? And if you ever watched the Dean Martin roast, that would uh, not happen today. No. Oh no. You it's could, too yeah. bad because you know why? And that would not happen. What they, what you know, what they said about Nipsey Russell, what they said about Sammy Davis Jr., what they said about uh, Thelma Houston, what they said about, uh, the, you know, if you watch some old uh, Dean Martin Rose, you can forget about it. But no, that, but they were all friends, Frank. They, yeah, they, they, well, I, 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 guys, I'm not. The, I, I'm just explaining. Everybody to you laughed that we live in a about it. Yeah, they all yeah, laughed. It was, it was. You're meant to laugh at them. And if you look at the guys in the NHL that have laid the complaints, they're hopelessly useless hockey players. I couldn't agree more, Billy. Yeah, Absolutely just, they, right on. They have no respect for the game. They have no respect for the wonderful opportunity they got. And that Akeem Alou is at the top of the list. Who? Akeem Alou. He's the one yeah. that turned in... Uh, Never heard of him, by the way. Never heard, heard of him. He him. got the shit beat out of him in a bus in... Uh, <laughs> Is it a girl or is <laughs> That's my... Uh, oh, they're yelling at you, Frankie. They're yelling at you, the girls. Yeah, the Frankie just hurt her toe. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 now, and now she wants a wambulance. Anyways. <laughs> 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 Anyways, they've become too, too little... They've taken everything over. I don't know. Me and the dog have no fucking where to go anymore. We're in a corner now. <laughs> we're, we're fucking afraid of them. Anyways, I'm telling you right now that we are in a world of politically correctness. And, you know, I was talking to Don Cherry um, a couple of weeks ago, and I said, Don, you should write a book and call it It Took Me 35 Years to Get Fired. Because yeah, yeah. Don, but Don's, gotta... been saying, Don's been saying shit, right, for 35 years. I believe in my lifetime... Um, I never would, uh, never thought I'd see this kind of political correctness. To well, a it's, point. it's in vogue right now, should, and and I okay. believe it's it's a manifestation of all the bullshit and all the evilness of the assholes of the world that took advantage of it. You see, Phil, the difference between what you're saying is when 
you know, you were playing hockey, that that uh, you you guys were fucking around, and 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 it was all in uh, there was no maliciousness, and it was all in fun, right? But there there's been people there's been people that have used their power to manipulate uh, women or to manipulate the different races, and 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 they're the evil ones. So for those few, um, the whole dynamics in culture of society has changed to an extreme political correctness, right, Bill? Yep. Well, it all started with Harvey Weinstein and the girls. And then the uh, meat. I, I think it started Better, that before was... that, but yes, a Weinstein, a Weinstein, uh, you know, before Weinstein got caught, there was, a, it, Hollywood was notorious for the casting couch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, finally, Finally, people didn't want to do that anymore. They didn't want to. They did not want to be bullied, savagely bullied, and and this and violated by a pig. So you know, Weinstein basically brought to the forefront. And I believe you're correct. I think that Weinstein was the catalyst for of people stepping up. And the Me Too movement, and you know, yeah. everybody, you know, not taking that kind of shit no more. 